Hello my friends, this is Alien Contact D, Linol Anderson here with you guys with the brand new special edition of an Alien Tuesday. Wow my friends, I'm here in beautiful Berlin, Germany as you can see. Somewhere here in Berlin, we've got at a castle, very beautiful. Anyways, today's video, I'm going to be delivering a message from the Palladian King Sananda. That's right, he has a very important video message for you guys today uh, regarding the second coming of Christ okay that's right the second coming of Christ it's coming my friends but it's not what you think it is a lot of people think that Jesus is coming down on a cloud while well, Sanand is here to set the record straight on what this second coming is and in fact it looks like it's already here that's right it has arrived so before we get to that i'm just going to encourage everybody to hit that subscribe button as i say subscribe to survive and make sure you hit the like button on this video as well uh, it helps with algorithms and if you're a fan of my work check me out on patreon for exclusive content you don't get anywhere else we've got the occult class the health class and spiritual based videos link is in the description your support means the world to me all right, my friend, so yes, what do I mean by the second coming is here already? And uh, is Jesus coming right down? Well, I had a talk with Sanand on this, and he let me know that what you see in today's Bible is everything has been so uh, edited and misinterpreted, and stuff has been added in there, and stuff has been removed. You can't trust any of it, and they got it all wrong, and they did it on purpose, okay? See, the elites, they want to, uh, they don't want people fighting back against the system. They want people to not fight for their freedom. They want people to say, you know what? Jesus is coming back. We don't have to do anything, because he's coming back, second coming of Christ. He's going to defeat all the evil, so we don't have to do anything. We don't have to fight the powers that be we don't have to fight any of these bastards nope jesus is coming forget about it he's taking care of it but that could be further from the truth my friends uh we have to fight we have to fight my friends because nobody's come to save us nobody if humanity just stops fighting and thinks that jesus is going to come save us it's not going to happen you're going to die that's what's going to happen if you do that okay so at the end of the day, what is the second coming of Christ? Because like I said, there's still some truth to that. So Sananda said, well, Lionel, you gotta look. There are some good scriptures in the Bible still that, that they left in there. And it tells you all you need to know, okay? So everything I'm gonna tell you guys came straight from Yeshua, Jesus. Came straight from him himself. So don't get mad at me and say I'm a blasphemer or anything like this. I'm going to give you the scriptures to look up. And I'm going to show you what's going on here and why we don't need a savior to come save us. Okay? First thing I'd like to point out, my friends, is at the end of the day, we are God. I know a lot of people aren't going to like that. They're going to say, oh, you are God? What, what are you talking about? You're God. Uh -uh. A lot of people won't like that, but Jesus said so. This is his words, not mine. First off, let me see, I wish I had the Bible here, but obviously I can't walk around with the Bible. So I'm going to tell you right now, Luke 17, 21, look it up for yourselves. Jesus goes on to say the kingdom of heaven is within us. God is within us. Okay? So that just shows you kingdom of God is within us and, and what else did he say he said Psalms 82 6 okay look that up he says ye are gods Jesus said that we are gods that came from his mouth okay so why do we need Yeshua to come save us if he's telling us we are God okay that was his mission was to come here and tell us who we were who we truly were well who are we we are God so it doesn't make sense that we need him to come save us because we are powerful beings. We are God. We have all, each and one, every one of us has God inside of us. And then I'd like you to look up John chapter 14, 12, where Jesus says, if you follow me, well, 
you will do things just as good as I'm doing. In fact, he says, you will do even greater things than me, okay? Not my words, that's Jesus, Yeshua, that's his words. He said, you will come here, you will be doing what I'm doing. In fact, you will do even greater things than me, okay? So don't say, oh, this is blasphemy. You think you can do better than Jesus? Ah, Jesus thinks that, not me. So why would we need him to come down here and save us if we are God, if God is within us, his words, not mine, and if he says we can do even greater things? We don't need Jesus to come save us. But yet, the second coming is here. And what is that? That's the second coming of Christ consciousness. That's what the Bible's trying to tell you. Christ consciousness. What's Christ consciousness? All my friends, it is the great awakening we are seeing happening take place as we speak. The world is waking up. The world is shifting from a state of fear, a state of uh, low vibrational frequencies and the world is shifting into a high vibrational state of love knowledge justice it's happening as we speak we see millions of people if not billions of people waking up to the corruption waking up to the evil in the world they we are shifting into christ consciousness so when the bible talks about jesus returning and all that it's not talking about a physical actually he's coming down to save us like that no 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 it's talking about a return of his consciousness of the christ consciousness that is the second coming of christ not a physical jesus coming down in the clouds to save you no 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 no. we save ourselves we do not need a savior we are god jesus's words not mine we are god we are here to save ourselves. And if we don't save ourselves, we die. It's that simple. And don't worry, we'll, we'll probably just be reincarnated to come do it all over again. And it's just gonna keep happening until we finally friggin' get it right. So that's everything that Sananda revealed to me, my friends. And it's a beautiful thing because it's already in, in the beginning stages. Uh, the powers that be, the dark forces, the reptilians, you know, they're pressing hard with their agenda to enslave us and to wipe us out. But I'm feeling optimistic, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling strong compared to where I was six months ago. Uh, six months ago, I was thinking there's no way we're getting out of this. And now I have nothing but hope because I've realized who I am. I've realized who you are and who we all are. And we are divine beings. We are God, we are everything that ever was and ever will be. And we have that power, and the elites don't want us waking up to that. But once we do wake up to it, we're unstoppable. They cannot stop us. And the beautiful thing is the second coming of Christ is here, Christ consciousness. People are waking up. There's a great awakening, and it's happening. So NWO, you should be scared. You should be very scared because your whole power system's collapsing. We've entered the age of Aquarius, I believe, and it's all happening now. We got light codes coming in from the sun we got people ascending to the fifth dimension oh it's it's it, the war has started so whatever you do do not take their poison shots that they want to give you because that's meant to keep you stuck in 3d reality that's exactly what it is my friends they don't want us ascending but if you say no you keep getting those light codes from the sun you keep ascending you keep realizing your own power it's done it's absolutely done for so I just want to encourage everybody to stay strong. And I know a lot of people will be saying, oh Lionel, I want to meet Sananda. I want to meet him. Like, you, what you mean he's never coming back? Well, I'm not saying that. I'm saying what's going on with this current fight, okay? It's up to us to save ourselves. But I truly believe once this is done and over, once we enter the golden age, I do believe that the chosen ones are going to be able to meet the man himself, Sananda. He's going to come help us, hey man, the ascend. I, I truly still believe in all that stuff too because I've been preaching that for a long time. So I do think that's going to happen. But I'm just saying, when it comes to defeating the dark forces and getting through this fight against evil, we're on our own, okay? But we're going to be we're eternal beings. We're all going to meet that man eventually. But it's not what you think it is, okay? It's not what you think it is. It's uh, what it says in the Bible and all that and what the churches teach you. It's totally, they've 
scrambled things if you get that you're gonna be meeting Sananda in a different way just like how I talk with him now you know downloaded messages stuff like that okay my friends that's about it for today's video uh, subscribe if you enjoy this content we got tons more great content I'm gonna be live here in Berlin lots going to a lot of cool different places doing videos so and uh, yeah, that's about it. Subscribe to survive. Check me out on Patreon. And that's it. Lionel signing off. Have a great week.